All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're gonna do a little bit of OpenSSL. And a lot of times people ask me about PKI, public encryption keys, private encryption keys, asynchronous encryption, so on and so forth. And I think a lot of people just don't understand how it truly works. And using something like OpenSSL from a hands-on activity lesson kind of point of view really kind of makes you go, oh, it kind of makes that light bulb go off. Uh, OpenSSL is actually a pretty easy program to run, uh, and it provides a lot of good information along the way that I feel it makes students kind of realize what we're trying to do or how the system actually works compared to an asynchronous, or excuse me, uh, compared to a synchronous system. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna do an LS, uh, and then you can see here that I've got some older files, but I'm gonna go to CD, uh, where I wanna put this? I think I wanna put it in files. So I'm gonna do CD files. Oops, gotta do those caps. Let's do a CD files, do an LS, and we're gonna make a directory called certificate. So MKDIR, and I'm just gonna name it certificates, just like that. Uh, and this is where I'm gonna put my public and private key. So I'm gonna do LS again. I'm gonna do CD certificates. So CD cert, cert, I oh man, I cannot type today. So CD cert. Tab, there we go, LS, we have nothing in there. All right, so we've got our directory. This is where we're gonna store our public and private keys. Um, so now we have to use OpenSSL. Now, if you don't have OpenSSL already downloaded, it's gonna be sudo apt install and then open SSL in a Kali box. And it's just like that, and then hit Kali. And you can see that uh, I've already have it installed, so no big deal. But let's do this, let's get started on the actual lab. So I'm gonna do a sudo open SSL uh, and then we're going to do a gen RSA so we're going to generate an RSA key right uh, we're going to use AES and then 128 bit encryption 128 bit encryption then we're going to do an output so switch OU key we have to tell it what we want to call this key now I recommend you to use our last name I'm going to do demo underscore private so PRI uh, and then PEM, so dot PEM. So it's gonna be demo, and this is my private key, dot PEM. And then I need to stipulate how, how, what kind of encryption key I wanna use for this. I'm gonna do is a 2048-bit key for that, all right? So it's gonna go through, it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna ask me for a password. Uh, I always use Tor for everything. I'm gonna do that today. And now if you do an LS now, you can see that I've got that private key. I've got that private key inside, but what's that private key actually look like? Let's let's take a look at that. Let's do a sudo head uh, and then that demo and we'll hit that private key right there and I hit enter and you can see this is the actual key that's being used or the encrypted private key, right? Now remember the private key is just used to read the file uh, not to encrypt it. So it's read to, uh, used to decrypt the file. Um, but we have to create the private key first because the private key includes all the makings that the public key needs. Remember the private key uh, that we utilize has all those juiciest information in it. And so the public key has to come from it. And so anyway, this is the private key. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's, let's get started on opening up or creating our, our public key at this point, okay? So in, when we do the public key, we're gonna do a sudo and then open SSL. Uh, then we're gonna do the RSA because we, we generated an RSA key, so we need to maintain that RSA key. We need to tell it where we're getting it from, so input and then that demo right there for that uh, private key. Now we have to do a pub out. So we're gonna do a public key out. We're gonna do that greater than sign right there. And then we're just gonna do a demo. Again, I recommend your last name. And this is gonna be our public key. So underscore public key and then dot PEM. So I'm taking here, I'm doing sudo. We're gonna do open SSL RSA key. We're inputting our private key that we already created and we're pushing out a public key and we're naming that public key demo underscore public. All right, hit enter on that one. It's gonna ask me for a passphrase, enter that passphrase and then it's gonna write the actual key. So now if I do an LS now, I've got my private key and I've got my public key. And these two are tied to one another. And again, if I wanted to read this, I could do sudo head and then demo. And then instead of that, I could do public key. And you can see here, here's the public key. Now I wanna point out, this is the public key. 
you can kind of see a little bit higher that the private key is a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. And the reason is because that public key came directly from the private key. It's a key pair, all right? So we've got our public key, we've got our private key. Now let's actually create something. I'm gonna create a message. So we're gonna do leaf pad, uh, and I'm gonna name my leaf pad document super secret right here. If you don't have leaf pad, it's very simple. It's just apt install leaf pad. And you don't have to use leaf pad. We can actually use V, we can do anything. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna name my I, item leaf pad, or excuse me, I'm gonna use leaf pad, open up a program or a document called super secret. And I'm just gonna put in, uh, this is my secret message, comma, isn't it great? Okay, exclamation mark, just like that. I'm gonna go to file to save it, close it out. And if I do an LS, I should see it there now. I've got that super secret message right there uh, in the clear, in the plain text, okay? Now, before I get too far, I wanna point out that we would send the public key to anybody. So if you wanted to do this on separate computers, if you were maybe teaching this in the classroom, you could have your students send this demo public key or this public key off to anybody they wanted to and then they would create the message on their computer and then encrypt it with that public key, okay? All right, so now we have to encrypt it. So we're gonna do a sudo and then open SSL. We're gonna do a P, excuse me, P key key utility. So uh, public key utility, just like that. We're gonna encrypt we're gonna have to put our in key, which is the key we're gonna use, uh, and we're going to encrypt with the public key. So demo, and then if you hit the thing, the tab button, it'll automatically fill with demo public key. Then we're gonna do a dash public in, so input, and then we have to do in whatever the input message that we're gonna do, which in my case is super secret, just like that. Then we're gonna do an output, whatever I want my output to be, and I'm just gonna name mine demo cipher just like this, and I'm gonna name it a TXT file. So what did I do here? I said sudo, I'm the boss, I'm gonna use OpenSSL, I'm gonna use the key utility, I'm encrypting my input key, the key I'm gonna to use to encrypt it with is the demo, the public key. I'm now going to do the public uh, 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 input, I'm gonna input the super secret. So I'm using this to input the key, and I'm using this as the input of the message I wanna secure, then I'm going to secure or encode or encrypt, excuse me, encrypt the super secret message. And the output is gonna be this demo cipher.txt, all right? Hit enter on that one. And if you do an LS, you can see now that I have my demo cipher. That is the encrypted message. This is still the regular message right here. So if I were to do leaf pad super secret, you can see that it's still in the clear, right? It's still plain text. So let's remove that. I'm gonna do remove super secret, just like that. I have an LS, it's no longer there, right? So unless you went to the trash to get it, it's gone. We can't, we can't see it. But let's try to open up that demo cipher. So I'm just gonna do a cat to read it and I'm gonna do a demo cipher, just like that, that TXT. And you can see that here, that's encoded or encrypted, I should say. I keep on messing up my words today, I apologize. But it's encrypted, right? Uh, you, you have to decrypt this now, it's unreadable. And if I were to do a leaf pad, uh, I can't type today. Leaf pad, and let's call it that demo right ever. We're gonna do demo cipher text right here. You can see it's still encoded, right? I can't read that. There, that looks nothing like what, what we did before. I sh I encrypted, excuse me, encrypted. All right, so now we need to decrypt it. We need to decrypt this message. We're gonna pretend if you're in a classroom environment, you would send the encrypted message off to the person with the private key, the original person that gave you the public key, right? So. Now we need to decrypt it. So we're gonna do sudo open, open SSL. We're gonna use that same utility, so UTL, just like so. Instead of encrypt, we're gonna decrypt it this time. We need to put the input key, which in this case is actually going to be the underscore private as opposed to the public, just like that. Then we have to input the documentation that we're using. In this case, it's gonna be the cipher.txt. Cipher, oh, we called it demo cipher, my bad, .txt. And then we have to do an output. So we're going to do that less than, again, sign. And we have to name it something. I'm gonna name my message.txt, just like so. So in this case, we use, I'm the boss for sudo. I'm gonna use the program OpenSSL. I'm using that utility to decrypt the key, the input key that I'm using 
is the private key, not the public key, and then I'm inputting the cipher text that was sent to me or the one that I created, right? And the output is gonna be that message.txt, all right? So I'm gonna hit enter. It's gonna ask me for a passphrase. I'm gonna hit that passphrase. I'm gonna do it ls, and you can see now that I've got that message.txt, and then I can read that. So cat message, just like that. And you can see that this is my secret message, isn't it great? Which is what I originally wrote. Now, the next question I usually get is, what happens if I decrypt it with the public key? Well, let's do it. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna hit all the way up, and instead of this private key, let's use the public key, just like that. And let's name it, instead of message, let's name it message one, just like that. All right, let's see what happens. And you can see that it can't read it, right? Could not read private key from public. There, it, it's not a public key, or excuse me, it's not a private key. And remember, we in, encrypt with the public key, and we decrypt with the private key. In this case, it's just telling you flat out that I can't do it, okay? Uh, if it did let us do it, it would be just encoded again, right? It would not work. So this is basically asynchronous encryption using RSA uh, right out the gates, right? So asynchronous encryption, which means we use the key pair. Uh, it's a great lab, it's very easy. Uh, I hope you learned something, I hope it was beneficial. If so, please like, subscribe, and hit that little alert button off to the side. Thank you very much, have a good one.